Paul Rubens, actor best known as Pee Wee Herman, dies at 70. He rose to fame in the 1980s playing the whimsical, childlike character on TV and in movies. Actor Paul Rubens, who came to fame in the 1980s as children's TV star Pee Wee Herman, has died years after a cancer diagnosis, his team said Monday. He was 70. Last night we said farewell to Paul Rubens, an iconic American actor, comedian, writer and producer whose beloved character Pee Wee Herman delighted generations of children and adults with his positivity, whimsy and belief in the importance of kindness, according to a statement posted to his Facebook. Paul bravely and privately fought cancer for years with his trademark tenacity and wit. A gifted and prolific talent, he will forever live in the comedy pantheon and in our hearts as a treasured friend and man of remarkable character and generosity of spirit. It had not been previously disclosed that Rubens was diagnosed with cancer. Please accept my apology for not going public with what I've been facing the last six years, he wrote. I have always felt a huge amount of love and respect from my friends, fans and supporters. I have loved you all so much and enjoyed making art for you. Rubens rocketed to fame for creating the sarcastic but good-natured man-child Pee Wee Herman, a character whose red bow tie and sneering catchphrases, I know you are, but what am I, were ubiquitous in the 80s and early 90s. Pee Wee was the star of a Los Angeles stage play produced by Rubens that gained enough of a following that HBO recorded and broadcast a performance in 1981. That eventually led to Rubens' big break, the 1985 movie, Pee Wee's Big Adventure, helmed by first-time feature film director Tim Burton. The movie followed Pee Wee's surreal and slapstick journey to find his missing bicycle and, while a modest box office hit, became a cult favorite. The success of Pee Wee's Big Adventure led to Rubens landing a Saturday morning CBS show, Pee Wee's Playhouse. The live action show was a hit with kids and adults alike and ran from 1986 to 1991. Then in 2004, Rubens was sentenced to three years probation after pleading guilty to a misdemeanor obscenity charge involving photographs of minors engaged in sexual conduct that were seized from him. Those brushes with the law dented but didn't derail Rubens' career. He returned to the big screen following the indecent exposure incident with a cameo as the Penguin's father in Burton's 1992 blockbuster sequel, Batman Returns. That same year, he fully shed his Pee-wee persona by playing a snarling bloodsucker in the Buffy the Vampire Slayer film. Rubens won critical acclaim in 2001 for playing a drug-dealing hairdresser in the movie, Blow starring alongside Penelope Cruz and Johnny Depp. His TV credits included appearances on, 30 Rock, The Blacklist, and, Gotham. The Groundlings Improv and Sketch Comedy Theater, where Rubens got his start as a performer and invented his iconic alter ego, said in a statement on Monday it was deeply saddened by his passing. As an iconic member of the Groundlings in the 1970s, Paul created his infamous character of Pee Wee Herman here, which became a cultural phenomenon that spanned decades, the theater said. Paul's contributions to comedy and entertainment have left a lasting impact on the world, and he will be greatly missed by all in the Groundlings community.